What's up guys, I got another Alliance War video for you. In this Alliance War video, we'll be going up against Apaco for the second time this season. I will be going path six to seven this war. I did not bring Blade. I will not start out with three poise charges with my Spark. Uh, I brought Vo I brought Vision mainly for a 565 Morningstar on the second uh, buffet mini boss, the Node 31 mini boss. The so that's why I brought Void on the team, and not Void, that's why I brought Vision on the team. Anyway, great, good thing I brought Vision on the team because he has a synergy with my Void, and if I fight an Avenger, I start out with Fear of the Void in the beginning of the fight, and holy crap, first nodes in Iron Man Infinity War, who's an Avenger, so bam, I start out with Fear of the Void, that was great. Uh, in the beginning, I, he had uh, three armor ups, so I started delaying my retaliations in, uh, trying not to trigger his auto block. Anyway, those armor ups uh, dropped off, and we're just trying to retaliate into this Iron Man Infinity War as much as possible. Try and keep those aggression fury nodes off of him from uh, aggression fury buffs off of him from the aggression fury node. Anyway, he's about to be uh, on at 15%. Uh, and I dropped this L1, trying to get a sneaky L1 in before he goes into his auto block phase. But unfortunately, the auto block phase came up while I dropped the L1. So we did block it, but that's okay because I still have a decent amount of intimidating presence on him. Uh, so I just back away, make sure I don't take any block damage because he did have a decent amount of furies up. And that fight, Iron Man Infinity War on Note 12, I usually take with my Spark. Uh, and it's a little sketchy with Spark because you have to drop the L2 before he goes into the auto block. And with Void, it was not sketchy whatsoever. Anyway, next node, uh, node 18, the uh, the Bane stun immunity and uh, enhanced abilities node. It is a uh, classic Spider-Man. I don't have Blade on the team, so I don't start out with the three poise charges. But that's all right. Uh, I tried to time bane uh time him throwing a heavy so i can transfer bane which i did pretty well once again i'm trying to time that again but he evaded after he threw that heavy after i tried to retaliate into him i am taking a decent amount of bane on uh i do get a decent intercept and get it off of me uh and then i drop my l1 trying uh trying to take him out but i don't have enough poise charges i didn't crit hard enough uh and but it's all right anyway uh sparks auto evades helped me out against his l1 against the wall uh, I just blocked through it because this node does not have unblockable L1, so I was just letting Spark pretty much take the wheel. So anyway, I have to, or I don't have to, but I wanted to turn off Dexterity for the Morningstar uh, mini boss on the Buffet node because I'm going to use my Vision. Uh, ma mainly, I don't have a good... Uh, Void's not good enough, I feel like, for that node against Morningstar. He would bleed out, so I did bring my uh, my vision for her. Anyway, I thought this first, first buffet node, node 24, was going to be either a blade or a massacre, but I checked the calculator, and holy crap, it is a Korg. So I have to turn off Dexterity for the next fight. Uh, so I was debating, do I keep Dexterity on for this Korg prior uh, before the morning star, what do I do? Eventually, I just said, screw it, let's turn off dexterity. Uh, I've actually, spoiler alert, I've actually never fought a Korg on No. 24, so first time. I'll uh, get that V card out of the way. And yeah, let's do this. Uh, I am just trying to bait out his heavies, never let him throw an L1. Whenever he gets to an L1, I'm just gonna hold block continuously and not uh, not keep myself open, not try and bait the L1. Uh, but when he has an L2, I'm gonna try and keep my block open and try and, uh, try and bait these L2s out. So mind you, I do not have the dexterity mastery right now. Uh, I'm not triggering any of his, uh, whatever those are, those orange buffs. <laughs> Even though I just blocked, hit him, and triggered one, uh, I did that out of instinct because I am getting backed against the wall a little bit. So that was just a uh, little instinctive of me to block hit them, but I shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, holy crap, Korg, please throw your L2 already. Eventually he does, and what do I do? I try and evade the last hit, but I do not have dexterity, so I cannot evade the last hit. I do get clipped by the last hit. It does proc a bleed on me, but that's okay because I am running willpower, so that's all right. And my void is 565. He does have a ton of health. 
Uh, anyway, his rock shield, uh, <clears throat> shit, excuse me, his rock shield uh, goes off. I dropped the 01, just trying to get as much uh, of these intimidating presents on him. I do get a nice intercept right there. I don't drop the L1 because it would have been a waste, number one. And number two, his rock shield probably would have uh, prevented the debuff from applying or the intimidating presence. Anyway, uh, once again, try to evade the L2. You would think I would learn the first time. Uh, that you can't evade the last hit of his L2 while you're back against the wall if you don't have the dis the dexterity mastery on. But no, I didn't learn my lesson. I got clipped by it again. Another bleed did proc on me, but it is okay because I have Fear the Void. I have a Petrify debuff on him, and that Korg on No24 goes down. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty fun. I guess it was a fun fight. I was a little anxious. I was really nervous because I've never, like I said, I've never fought Korg on that buffet note. So, uh, 565 Morningstar, I do switch up the, uh, the boost, I do go to tech, tech boost now, uh, I did have, uh, the science boost on for that Iron Man Infinity War and the Korg that I wasn't expecting. Anyway, uh, Morningstar, uh, with Vision is really easy, I just, uh, I don't really care at all about this, uh, not care, but I can do whatever I want during this fight because I don't have the Dexterity Mastery. I will never trigger the Buffet Node. My, uh, my Synthesis does not trigger it, so, uh, the Buffet Node will never, the, the Buffet Node is pretty much canceled out since I turned off Dex. But I do have this Morning Star against the wall. I do go for the stand-up intercept. She doesn't fall for it, so I go for the draft back, and then I go for it again, and it, the timing, I, I don't, I don't think it was the timing that was messed up because I always do that and I always the the, it's, the timing is the same. I think I got clipped right there because I didn't I don't have the dexterity mastery and the AI just or my my champion just didn't register to dash back and forward fast enough. Anyway, you can't intercept uh 100% of the time with void with vision when your dexterity's off. Uh I feel like so uh I do get clipped by an L1 soon and I felt like the timing was was uh I think right now she throws the heavy and I go in no 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 not here the next one I power drain her here and then right here she throws the heavy I go in I'm about to hit her and holy crap she clips me with the L1 I swear I was fast enough there uh I well I guess I wasn't but holy crap is the AI so fast I was not expecting to get clipped by that L1 I thought I was fast enough with my retaliation in but it doesn't matter because this last stand up intercept uh gets her down and yeah pretty uh pretty nice start to the war four fights in uh full attacker bonus achieved I do put dexterity back on uh I remember one uh, one alliance war I forgot to put dexterity back on after I turned it off and I had like a, a Medusa on Bane. It was so sketchy. So always turn Dexterity back on, guys, before uh, you enter the next fight. Anyway, I checked the Scouter Lens bot, and it was telling me it was going to be a 565 Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Uh, so let's heal up Void, and let's go in. He is the best counter I have on my team. And uh, I pretty much want to just only attack this guy while he's stunned. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm... I, I retaliated there, but I only retaliated with a one-hit combo just in case he evaded. So right there, I parried him, and I was able to drop off my L1, and he wasn't able to evade it with his Stark AI because he was stunned. So that's what I'm going to do, and once again, parry him. I'll uh, get a two-hit combo. I'm getting backed against the wall a little bit, so I just want him to throw as many uh, L1s as possible and as fast as possible before I get backed against the wall too much. Uh, unfortunately, the last two intimidating presents to apply are the, holy crap, I forget what they're called, the agility debuffs, and those are the ones that reduce chance of evade, so I really wanted those first, but I am backed against the wall now, and I'm like, alright, I have one agility debuff on him, let me go for like a three hit combo while he's not stunned, uh, and we get a nice parry off, and this is a pretty, uh, pretty simple fight, only attack him while he's stunned, and I have, uh, Decent amount of intimidating presence on him. Fear the void kicks. I get the uh, the parry and end the fight on a medium. I don't know why. But yeah, on to the next node. It is a six-star awakened beast. Uh, I checked the calculator once again, and I felt like Spark was the best option. Maybe I should have brought Void for this fight, but I just felt like my Spark had more health, and... Uh, the war was close, and I wanted to get this fight down pretty fast. The faster the fight goes, the least uh, uh, likely you will die. And Spark will definitely get this 6-star beast down faster than my OGV. 
So anyway, uh, I pushed him to an L1, try and build a poise charge off of the L1. Tried to build two, but it wasn't fast enough. Uh, my poise didn't register or anything or whatever. He throws this random heavy. I get another five hit combo, get a nice intercept, get a three hit combo, drop the L2, and that beast goes down pretty fast uh, with my 565 spark. So uh, next node is the right to center mini boss. This node has strike back, recovery, and something else. And uh, strike back, recovery, what else does it have? Hold on. And oh, I, I didn't, it's just too fast. I didn't find, fucking see what it said. Uh, anyway, Doc Ock, bring my void. Um, I don't want to throw specials. I don't really like Doc Ock's L2, so I don't want, I want to keep him at an L1. And uh, I don't want to throw my specials um, while I don't have any petrified debuffs on him because the strike back node will work. So uh, right here, he's. Uh, I dropped the L1 because I know it will only give him one uh, one bar of power, which is what I want him at, uh, one bar of power. So I dropped the L1, triggered the strike back node how I wanted it to, uh, kept him at an L1, and boom, I have my first petrify, so that's great. The strike back node is not fully reversed, but it'll be cut in half. He'll only gain half of a bar of power, I think, now. So... Uh, I'm still just trying to hold on to my specials, not drop any, uh, bef until I have at least two petrifies. So, uh, actually right here I drop it, and he only gains half of a bar of power, and the, the, uh, the last intimidating presence to apply is the petrify, so that sort of sucked, but it's alright. I'm just trying to bait out this guy's L1, not get backed against the wall too much. I do have two on now, so I do get to go for a full five hit combo and drop the L1. Uh, in the hopes of it actually reversing his power, in the hopes of it pushing, um, right here I drop it, in the hopes of it pushing him back down to an L1, but it doesn't, and he gets to an L2, he drops the L2, uh, this is my last fight, so I say screw that, I'm gonna block that L2, and not, uh, not give any chance, chance of, uh, of dying against that Doc Ock. And yeah, Void did great, like he always does, and that is it for me in this alliance war. Uh, big shout out to Apaco. We actually did lose this war, unfortunately, and I think that is it for us, uh, going for mass, not going for masters, but that is it for us. I don't think we will be able to make masters this season with the missed war and with the loss to, uh, ISO and now a loss to Apaco. So yeah, Platinum 1, here we come, baby. <laughs> uh, congratulations to all the MVPs. I hope you guys